Hello everyone, this is Philip Oetker from Skill Systems. And I want to introduce to you how you can structure your optics with Einbeam etching. Skill Systems is a company based in Chemnitz, Eastern Germany. And we are very strong in building equipment for plasma, Einbeam and vacuum processes. We have 17 sales and service partners all around the world, which can help you locally with your requirements for optics processing. We offer several technologies and tools, for example, ion beam figuring, ion beam deposition, or also magnetron sputtering. But of course, we also offer optics structuring, for example, using ion beam etching or also reactive ion etching. In this little video, the focus is on ion beam etching. With ion beam etching, the plasma is generated within such an ion beam source and is separated from the substrate, which is over here at the substrate holder. The positively charged ions are extracted from the plasma by applying a voltage to a grid set in front of the ion beam source. And the, then the ions are accelerated by the voltage towards the substrate to edge material. It's possible to control the selectivity of different surface materials or even to enhance the etching rate by introducing reactive gases to the process. These reactive gases can be either introduced into the plasma directly in the ion beam source or next to the substrate by a gas ring. Typical application for ion beam etching is pattern transfer. For pattern transfer, you need to mask your substrate by either a hard mask or more commonly by a photoresist. This photoresist is then structured by lithography, and with ion beam etching, we can transfer this pattern into your sample. By choosing now reactive gases, it's possible to either achieve the same edge rate between resist and substrate, and then you get a proportional pattern transfer. You can also tune your process to be a non-proportional pattern transfer. On this slide, you see an example for such a non-proportional pattern transfer. A set of parameters were chosen to achieve a selectivity between the photoresist and the quartz substrate of 3 to 1. You can see very nicely how this is used to produce a high efficient placed grating. The step height of the photoresist of 81 nanometers is tuned according to our selectivity to a step height of 26 nanometers. A second application of ion beam etching is the production of surface relief gratings. Such gratings are used as in couplers or out couplers in optical waveguides for augmented reality devices. Ion beam etching offers several advantages for the fabrication of such surface relief gratings. One important point is that we have a separation between the plasma and the substrate. This means the substrate can be freely tilted within the ion beam. And therefore, by using a specific angle of incidence, you end up with a specific angle for your grating. But not only the angle of incidence is important to reach a good result. Also other process parameters are very important. For example, you can also change ion energy, beam current density, and again, gas composition by using reactive gases. With this, you can change the ratio between isotropic etching and anisotropic etching, and therefore gas composition can have a huge effect on the final shape of your gratings. That's all for this little introduction video. Thank you for listening and please remember SKIA systems if you have requirements matching our technology.